You guys, today's video I'm really, really excited for. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I saw you all really, really enjoyed that versus battle between Luki Bear as well as 8-9. And I would like to do more versus stuff um, with other pro players, kind of like testing out their skill in certain ways. But not just like a gem grab 1v1 where it's just like a battle of poke damage. I feel like that can get a little bit boring to watch. So what we're going to be doing today is a bull 1v1 with some of your favorite bull mains or bull gods in the meta. We have Pika as well well as Jared. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know who Pika is. He's been on my channel so many different times. Renowned like bull god, like the bull main. As well as Jared was on my channel not too long ago as well. He has the world record for bull right now with 1300 and something trophies. So they're both really really good with bull but the rules are gonna be super super fun in today's video for the verses now before we get into that i need you guys to go check them out links in the description down below i asked a lot for them in today's video i asked them to tilt down their bull to 500 trophies for an even match which you guys will understand why later on in the video so i asked a lot of them it'd be really really cool if you guys go check them out um i would appreciate that but let's get into the rules of this versus battle so the way this versus video is gonna go down is both of these players have a grand total of 15 minutes to accumulate as many trophies as possible inside of Brawl Stars. So the person at the very end of the video at the end of 15 minutes is going to be crowned your winner. Now there are a few different rules. Number one is that you have to play with randoms. This is going to test their ability to be able to carry a total team. Now of course this introduces a little bit of randomness so it is more of like a fun 1v1 not super super competitive um, but still a bull needs to be that guy that needs to make those game changing plays. He's the aggro of their team. Rule number two is that once that clock hits 15 minutes, you have to stop. So say you're in the middle of a match, even if there's like five seconds left on the clock and you're about to win, that match won't count. It's going to be however many trophies you can get in 15 total minutes. And then rule number three and the final rule is they can do whatever they want to do inside the game when it comes to accumulating these trophies. They can hop into showdown, they can hop into brawl ball, they can hop into siege, they can hit the play again button instead of hitting the exit to try to cut down as much time as possible so it's totally up to them whatever game mode they feel more comfortable in to get the most wins possible it's up to them so those are the three rules in this versus battle we'll see who will come out victorious i'm really really excited about this and i think you guys will enjoy the setup that we have for the video today so why don't we get straight away into it here we go okay guys so we got the stopwatch going as you can see pika starting off with brawl ball chaired starting off with siege i wanted to do a video with two gameplays going so i'm going to be doing my best to commentate on both but really we only need to see the trophy totals in the very end and kind of the clinch plays so i'm going to be swapping in between the two looks like uh, pika's got some stuff going on on his screen and the enemy team just end up scoring on his end we'll see how jared's doing it looks like he's doing fantastic over on siege running things with his team the enemy team didn't get a single screw yet so it's looking good over there on his end so man this is fun guys i was really looking forward to making this video so we'll see how this all turns out in the very end as well as i'll have like a trophy counter up on your screen so we can keep track that way as well so it looks like jared is pushing in along with his teammates and that's going to be a very very quick first match Oh my goodness, so Jared off to a very solid start compared to Pika. Maybe uh, Siege was the, the play in this uh, little challenge or 1v1 here. Um, so we'll see if Pika can end this quick enough. Okay, so it looks like Jared hopping into the next one. I think he hit the play again button, which is a really good strat. Pika finally finishing his very first game, and that's going to give him plus eight trophies. As you can see, Pika's a little bit above 500, 590, um, but that was uh, his own choosing, so that was up to him. Um, Jared opted to go with the total just straight 500, so um, maybe that'll give him the edge in this versus video. Um, so Pika hopping back into Brawl Ball. I think Pika is most comfortable on Brawl Ball with him when it comes to his bull. Um, and Jared... Um, starting his second game of Siege. So it's tied right now. It, I think uh, Pika is a little bit behind Jared on time, but depending on how he performs in this game, we'll see how it turns out. Um, Siege, honestly, a really, really good choice coming from Jared because you can get some good, good, fast games in Siege if you win the first uh, Siege bot and win on the first push, which Bull is really, really good at, especially if you have your super dive in there, get some solid damage. And as you can see us uh, speaking of it, Jared managed to get the first Siege bot. We'll see if he can finish it up here. It doesn't look like it. He's going to opt to use his super, get back and do the control game. So Pika's game going pretty slow here. No scores yet. 
Pika going down. It looks like they're, the enemy team is going to be able to score on their end as well. Never mind. Morty's trying to do a tricky <laughs> trick shot, but it didn't end up working. Um, so we'll see what happens. Peak, or I should say Jared winning on his end, 46%. I'm assuming if they win this next siege, they should be able to win on this push. So that's another plus eight trophies. But you never know what will happen. Something might go wrong. You never know. So they ended up winning the second siege on Jared's end. And I think that should be game. And Pika's still running away with this, trying to score a single goal. Honestly, I think siege was the move, man. Um, we'll see if uh, they end up going with any uh, solo games like Showdown or anything else that is in rotation when they're playing. Um, so it looks like Jared ended up getting another victory. He's definitely in the lead right now. So it's 16 to 8. Jared hopping into his next match. Jared going all in, baby. Um, so we'll see what happens here. So heading into a third match. They're up against a spike, and I didn't see the other teammates. But um, Jared definitely knows how to play a good game of Siege. Um, Pika using his super. We'll see if we'll be able to score here. He's definitely in a good standing to be able to. And I think he's going to have to play this whole entire Brawl Ball match out to get the plus 8. Um, so definitely Jerry, uh, Jared has a head start here. So we'll see what happens in the next game. Oh my goodness. So Pika has to finish this up ASAP in order to catch up. Um, I think Pika's kind of hoping at this point for a loss on their part. And the funny thing is with this, with this versus video that we have going on here is they don't know, um, the results here at the end. Um, I want to have them wait till the video is out. So Pika finally finishing the uh, second game. So now it's tied 16 to 16. Interesting. Okay, let's keep the ball rolling. Pika finishing. Oh my goodness. They won in the first siege bot. So uh, Jared is definitely in the lead at this point. He's ahead one whole game. He's going into a play again, sticking to his teammates, checking notifications. Guys, it's 15 minutes. They got to keep up with their stuff. 15 minutes is a lot of time for a Brawl Stars pro. Um, so Pika rolling into his third match. This is all about consistency as well, guys. If someone loses a match, that's going to set them back quite a bit. So we'll see if that ends up happening. Um, they have to win all of them at the very least um, if they want to compete here. So again, we'll see how this goes. Pika on his third game, Jared on his fourth. So Jared definitely doing a bit better here. Um, let's see what happens. So Pika rolling up. Looks like he might be able to score a quick early goal. Let's go. Okay, Pika coming with ferocity, trying to get the uh, lead back. I shouldn't say back. I think Jared has been doing better than Pika this whole entire time so far. Just because Siege, I feel like it's kind of the OP game mode, especially if you can carry. So Pika going down there, trying to wrap up his third game. He does have the first goal. He needs to get another goal real, real quick. And he's good. Oh my goodness. Jared is running away with this, guys. He beat... His fourth game, another plus eight trophies. My goodness, it's going to be hard to keep track of what games they're on. So, um, Jared heading into his fifth match. Pika finishing his third, about to head into his fourth. Okay, interesting. So, we got to keep that in mind. Five, four. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, so let's see how Jared can do here. Heading into his sixth match, I believe. If not, I might lose track. You guys got the trophy counter up on your screen. Um, so we might just go game, uh, play by play here because I knew I would lose track eventually what games they're on. Um, but we know that Jared is in the lead right now. But you never know with Brawl Ball. You can get quick 30 second matches if you play right. Um, but Jared very comfortable right now in the lead. Okay, so it looks like they're going to be able to win the very first siege on Jared's end. We'll see if they can finish it on the first bot like Jared has been doing. He's been crushing it on siege. Quick trophies, quick, quick trophies. Um, bull supering in and make sure guys just take take in the actual gameplay they're playing stellar here they're both really really good bulls it's fun to watch uh pika play in brawl ball um so managing to score the very first goal looks like jared isn't able to clinch it on the very first push but with bull you can super in and get a good amount of damage but he's not going to do that he's just going to use his super to play defense try to win the next siege might be the smartest move to go with. The consistency is important, like we said before. Pika supering in, taking out that mortar. And there should be another goal here. I'll be uh, I'll be interested to see how this is in post. Because I'm losing track of what games they're on. All I know is Jared is in the lead right now. Um, so it looks like they're going to... Oh, okay. So the enemy team won the second siege. So we'll see how that translates. Um, Jared kind of losing the pace of the one siege or two siege push he's gonna have to wait for 
a third seed. So this is Pika's chance. This is Pika's chance for sure. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Again, Jared could use super and just dive on the IKE. But uh, Pika wasn't able to score there. They've been pressuring hard. It looks like Primo might be able to score on the enemy team and doesn't look like it. Pika has been playing basically the whole entire games of Brawl Ball, but you basically just need to keep in the back of your mind that Pika's probably going to end up winning um, the Brawl Ball matches. So um, he's a fantastic uh, bull in Brawl Ball. So um, heading into our next Siege Robot, looks like our team is going to be able to pick up the win over on Jared's end. Um, but it was a lengthy one, and I think Pika just caught up to the game that Jared is on right now. Um, so they're at even trophies, now they're not. So Jared up by 8, I believe, at this point. Okay, guys, we're at a race against the clock. Let's see what happens. I'm going to check to see how much time is on the board. So we got 8 minutes into this grind. Okie dokie. So Pika in on the game to catch up with Jared. So I believe like the fifth game or something like that. Jared hopping into another match of Siege. Just playing straight Siege. I would, uh, I kind of assume that they would pick a game mode and just stick to it. Oh my goodness. Okay, good play on Pika's part. Killing that Colt in the, in the back roll going in. So a quick early goal within the first 30 seconds. How's Jared doing on his end? Um, looks like his team is going to win the very first Siege bot now. They do have really good brawlers to end it, but Primo's going to be going down, so it's all to Jared to end it in the first Siege push, which I don't believe he'll be able to. Rico coming back in, and Primo should be able to come back in. Oh, and a quick goal. A quick game for Pika. He needed that, and I think we're at the same trophies right now. Uh, and I might just be saying it wrong, but again, you guys got the trophies up on your screen. Okay, here we go. Can they finish it on the very first push? Doesn't look like it. This is Pika's chance, guys. If they can't uh, clinch it up on the very first push, Pika can really uh, make a make a surgence here to try to come back. Okay, so Pika up against a Rosa, a Tara, and another Bull. And it looks like their team is doing fantastic. Bull. Pika always likes to play super aggressive. Um, normally, maybe in a game mode like this, you'd want to run the second star power on Bull, but Pika doesn't do that. <laughs> the only uh, time he uses... Shield, I think, is when he's going super, super try hard. He likes to play really, really aggressive with Bull. Um, so here we go. Looks like Jared on his end, his team managing to get the second Siege bot, and that's going to be wraps for that game as well. Jared's still in the lead, and it's looking good for him after this one as well. So there we go, jumping in, and that is another victory for Jared. And the enemy team on Pika's side ended up scoring the very first goal. Let's see what happens. Jared's in the lead. Okay, here we go. Going for a play again on Jared's end. Primo slowing things down, heading back into matchmaking. Honestly, play again is really important. Um, but uh, if people kind of slow things down, it's not good. Okay, here we go. Pika needs to defend. Oh, and he's going to score. Oh, my goodness. That is a huge, huge thing for Jared. That might clinch it, honestly, for him. But we'll have to see. If Jared ends up losing a match as well, that might change things. And after we just got done talking about it, um, Pika switches over to the second star power, which Jared has been using the whole entire time. It's the smart choice in Siege. Trying to stay alive, trying to establish control um, during the match is really, really important for Bull. So guys, at this point, I've lost track of what their trophies are at right now. Um, so you'll have to just keep your eyes on the trophy total. Okay, so here we go. And then at the very end, I'll just uh, look back and see who ends up winning, and we'll do the official announcement. So the enemy team on Jared's end gets the very first Siege bot. We'll see what happens. They have a Dynamite on the team. Oh, they're getting a lot of damage here, the enemy team. This might be big. This might be big for Pika there. If not, at the very least, Jared's going to have to play a pretty full match here. The enemy team is doing a really good job against um, their team right now. Jared going down. Let's see if Pika can make a little comeback. He ended up switching his skin. We have matching skins right now, Pika and Jared. Okay, Pika doing some rolling around, man. That shield coming in handy. Second star power coming in clutch. Okay, uh, Primo going down to that Frank. How's Jared doing? Looks like his team is going to be able to get the second siege. Can they capitalize and finish it on this siege push? If not, it's going to be pretty tricky for them um, to defend against a third siege. We'll see what happens here. Okay. It's going down. They're doing pretty decent, but not much. So they're going to play the full game there. Um, Pika really needs to do something here to try to come back. How are we at on time? We're sitting at 12 minutes into our grind. So something needs to happen here for Pika. 
if uh, he wants to make a comeback. Something has to happen in this game to Jared if Pika wants to win this. Um, as well as Pika needs to win this match that he's currently on. <laughs> okay, so Jared doing fantastic with his teammates. And it looks like he's going to be able to get the win unless it's a tie. Is it going to be a tie? It's a tie! Oh my goodness, so the enemy team ends up winning unless Jared supers in on the IKE. Okay, can Peek clutch up and get the win here? And then if he does, it's going to become interesting. I mean, I believe they'll have time for one more match. Okay, Pika's team ended up getting the very first goal. Okay, guys, let's see. Pika going in, trying to get some extra damage, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. He ended up losing that match, so both players ended up losing, and Pika looks like he's going to be able to score the goal. Let's go. So maybe a little comeback season here in the midst, and a loss is pretty significant, um, but it's only like minus a few trophies. It's not a lot, so... Each of them lost, so I think we're on pretty even playing ground. We'll have to see Bull going, or Jared going into Brawl Ball now, switching it up. Okay, we'll have to see. The clock is getting close, guys. I think this might be the last match for both of them. Um, and then we'll see what their trophy totals are at. Of course, you guys already know. It's on your screen. Um, so here we go. Pika doing fairly good. He's pressuring on both ends. Jared scoring the very first goal on his side. A very quick goal within the first 20 seconds. That's really, really good um, for him. We'll see if Pika can capitalize on this game. And I think they're in pretty pretty uh, good territory to be able to just finish up this last game and this being their last game. Um, but we'll have to see how it all ends. I haven't reviewed these games yet. And we're on the very last minute, guys. This is getting scary. This is getting scary. Can they do something here? Um, Jared... We'll see if they can finish up here. Pika scoring his very first goal. Dude, would you imagine if it was a tie in the very end after a loss and playing a different game mode? If it's a tie, it's going to be a tie. We can't do a tie break. Okay, here we go. Can Pika score the goal? We have to hurry up here. 15 minutes is slowly approaching. We have 30 seconds left. Can they finish? Can they finish? 30 seconds left? Oh, this is the most stressful part because they both have more than 30 seconds left in the match. So they have to do something. Like I said before, I'm going to cut off the time. And Pika ends up scoring his final goal. And that's going to be the end of his gameplay over there. There's no way he's going to be able to fit in another match. Okay, guys. It's up to Jared to capitalize here. He only has a grand total of five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And that's going to be cut off for Jared. Oh my goodness, so let's see what are the grand totals in the very end. Like I said before, you guys already know, but I want to know. <laughs> okay, everybody, so the consensus is in, and as you can see, Pika is your winner of the 15-minute battle grind versus match between the Bulls. So Jared only lost by eight trophies, and it all came down to both of them losing at the same time. It was kind of a runaway. I thought Jared was going to win the whole entire time, but then Pika snuck in that final win at the very end of the video. Man! This video was a lot of fun to make. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. Also, if this gets good response, if you guys like it, make sure to slap the like on it so I can see what you guys are thinking about this. It was so, so much fun. Um, Once again, thanks to the guys for helping out Jared as well as Pika. They tilted their bulls intentionally for this video. So very, very nice of them to do that um, to make it even. But yeah, guys, with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.